name is Marco Bianchi. I'm the CEO of, of Mocha. Uh, Mocha is a performance marketing agency, um, which is actually part of a bigger group called uh, WebSuit uh, Group. And um, as a performance marketing agency, we mainly provide five different services to our clients. Uh, one is um, SEO, which stands for um, Search Engine Optimization. Uh, the, the other one is, is digital advertising, um, uh, um, web analytics, conversion rate optimization, and email marketing automation. All these services together are actually connected uh, to uh, performances. What do I mean? Well, it, it's, it's more about giving um, transactions, uh, conversions, downloads, rather than um, brand awareness projects where um, communication skills are, are much more important. We are pretty much on figures, numbers, and, and, and technical aspects. Um, uh, in terms of values, we really stress uh, the, the importance of helping our clients uh, taking the most out of their digital investments. So actually help is really, is really a keyword uh, within our organization. Um, another value uh, that we stress really uh, a lot uh, is work-life balance. So um, help is towards the clients, work-life work balance is towards ourselves. Uh, but, but both are really important values for us. Uh, since the very beginning, I would say, and uh, the reason why we do that, well, basically, Mocha is at the moment growing uh, something between 20 and 20% year over year. And uh, this uh, conveys the need on one side to strengthen, to, to broaden up the team, and at the same time, uh, we, it gives us the opportunity to schedule and support professional paths that actually begin from scratch. Um, there's, there's a big opportunity there for us because at the same time, we can have uh, new points of view. We can have different age groups where diversity is a value as well. Um, and at the same time, we can um, uh, build our methodology uh, we, we can build this these new professionals with our methodology and and it's a great opportunity um, however we never exceeded a maximum 10 percent ratio uh, between um, um, interns and, and full employees so actually uh, training is really important for us the reason why we hire interns is because we want them to be part of the team right after the internship uh, and so we, we really want to make sure that they learn uh, uh, as much and as fast as possible. So uh, every single intern is mock in MOCA has at least counts on, at least on nine others, full employees to whom they can ask for support and, and get some training. One ideal background, I would say that we are a performance marketing agency, so a marketing background uh, is, is, could be useful, as well as uh, a background in, in economics, because mainly when you deal with performance, uh, we actually uh, uh, deal with business goals of our clients. So people that do know what a turnover is, what a margin is, what a cost of sale is, uh, could could really take advantage of this background in, in, in the professional path uh, within, within, uh, within MOCA. Um, in terms of which kind of internship are we talking about, you know, we don't usually uh, uh, use the Artenanza Scuola Lavoro option, so we're not talking about um, people that are like uh, in their teenage or at the end of their teenage. Um, but simply because what we are looking for is the, the first step of a full employment uh, uh, career path. So we spend really a lot of resources and we also ask these uh, guys to invest a lot of resources um, um, uh, learning and understanding MOCA and, and, uh, and our job. So we, we, we think that the best return on this investment for both the parties is actually having the possibility 
to hire on a, a full employment basis. Uh, the intern internship is over. Uh, so that's mainly why we actually um, uh, use this, this, this internship as the very first step that these people do while entering the, 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 the let's say the job, the, the, the work uh, and job part of their lives when, when their studies are almost over. Honestly, sometimes we overlap a little bit. So mm -hmm. there are students that are actually about to finish their, their, their degree um, uh, and they start working in MOCA before they finish their, they, they take their degree. But this is something like it, it's a five to six months overlap, then, then, then it's over. We basically uh, um, build a professional path from scratch. So we um, we don't. It, it's important to say that we focus on, on soft skill first. We we don't actually look for hard skill. Uh, um, so in terms of soft skill, um, every single crew member in Moca uh, finds uh, herself or himself very very soon in front of a client. Um, so we, we, we really, uh, it's really important for us to foresee uh, uh, that skill set that has to do with um, communicating with a client that have maybe uh, for, with many different people that have many different needs, uh, uh, very different goals. Uh, so the, 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 the complete communication skill set is very important for us. Assertiveness, I would say, uh, as well. And on the other side, we, we, we need to remember that we are a team. Um, uh, I would say a beautiful team as well. Uh, so uh, every time we hire somebody, doesn't matter if it's an internship or a full-time employee, we bet on the fact that she or he will fit within our culture and the people that we have. Um, so basically, uh, this is what we value the most when we meet a new person. Basically, no, but uh, even, even if what's happening nowadays is actually forcing to do so, because uh, we actually started a new internship 10 days ago and uh, we never met in person. Um, which is completely weird and, and, and new for us. It, it's a completely new experience. So maybe in, in, in two or three months, I will be able to tell you more about how, how it, it works, if it's fine or not. Um, the point is that, uh, as I said, uh, um, so far, we really stress a lot our training programs and the fact that these, these people uh, need to be part of a team uh, um, and know each other uh, as fast as possible. And this, this is really uh, difficult to do uh, if, uh, if, if, if it happens 100% virtually. Um, but again, um, COVID-19 is actually forcing us to, to do it. And, and uh, maybe we can learn something out of it and, and, and discover that everything is possible. And so maybe who knows in the future. Okay. Actually, uh, uh, what happened so far is that we hired somebody from abroad, but actually that was an Italian uh, professional coming back to, to Italy uh, that used to work for like four or five years abroad. Um, we, we've never hired uh, um, a, either a, an intern or a full-time employee from abroad so far. I would say that that's, that's not an issue at all, but we really need somebody that speaks fluently Italian, um, mainly because our market is, is in Italy. Our clients are 98% in Italy and they, and they speak Italian. Unfortunately, they're not so good at speaking English as well. And uh, apart from the, let's say, the, the uh, relationship side, most of the outputs that we provide within our services, they actually need you to write and, and speak fluently Italian. So it's not a matter of 
from Italy or abroad, the real, the real matter, what, what really matters is if this person knows well the Italian language. <laughs> Actually, uh, no, at this stage, in, in the really short term, we're not planning any particular um, expansion abroad, but uh, where, whenever it might happen, uh, the strategy would really be to hire people from that country because uh, we really know that providing our services most of the time really needs uh, for that market uh, the vice versa so people that really know that language not only the language but also the the market itself uh, um, so yes definitely we will never uh, produce uh, in Italy and provide our services abroad eventually yes they are um, basically we pay um, so far we paid 600 euros per month uh, to our interns and the duration of the inter internship is maximum six months is really really high it's it's above uh, I would say it's above 85% of all the internship that we started that ended up in, in a full-time um, employee do what you want, I uh, so yes they can send it to, over to me or even better we have a dedicated email address which is job at mockinteractive.com uh, uh, so they can they can write there and also visit our website where all the positions that are open are listed and there's also an application process that you can um, try uh, um, if you will.